With the new GitHub projects, we now have multiple ways to add existing issues to the board. Let's see how it's done. Here we go. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset, and in today's video, we are going to look at how to add existing issues to a GitHub project. Keep in mind that projects can also be used to track pull requests, and you can add pull requests in a similar way to what this video will show. You can add existing issues to your project individually or in bulk. You can also create draft issues directly in the project and turn them into full issues later. We'll cover that in a separate video. Keep in mind, when you add an issue to a project, remove an issue, or change the issue status, it creates a timeline event that will show up on the issue's timeline. We are going to look at the following options for adding an existing issue to a project. Pasting the URL of an issue onto the project search for an issue from the project, add issues in bulk from the project, add issues in bulk from a repository issue list, add an issue to a project from an issue details page, and finally, use the command palette to add an issue. Okay, that's a lot. Let's dive in. So we are gonna look at some of the different ways that you can add existing issues to a project board. So what we've got is my repository called YouTube and in my repository I have three issues. My first issue, my second issue, and my third issue. And if I click into the issue then it just has a description this is my first issue. Nothing exciting. But I want to look at the different ways that we can add these issues to our existing project board. The first way is just by cutting and pasting the issue URL onto the project board itself. So here's the issue URL. So I can grab that. And if I go to our project board, I can simply cl click in the blank row next to the plus, paste that in, and hit return. You'll notice that it's got the little symbol for an issue. It's clickable. If I click this, it opens up the issue in a pullout card. And I can work the issue from here if I want to. Or I can even click open in a new tab and it will take me to a new tab and take me directly to that issue in the repository. Now, so that's the first way of adding an existing issue to your project board. The second way is to actually search for the issue. So I can click next to the plus and I can type the pound sign and it will allow me to select a repository and I can start to do a search so I can type YouTube and select my YouTube repository which then provides me issues that I can select to add to the project board. So in this case, I will select my second issue and it adds it to the project board. And notice how it automatically takes me to the next line and it still is focused on that YouTube repo so I could add other issues from that same repository if I wanted to. Let's remove these two issues for now. And let's clear this out. And let's look at the third issue. Let's look at how we can add issues in bulk while in the project. So I'm going to click the plus button. And I'm going to select add item from repository. And I will find my YouTube repository. And it shows me all of the issues that are in my YouTube repository. I could select all three and click Add Selected Items.
and it adds all of these to the repository. I mean, to the project board. It adds all of these to the project board. If I go to my first issue and I open it up in the tab, then if you look at the issue details on the right hand side, it shows that this issue is part of this particular project called YouTube. Okay, that's three down, three to go. Let's go back to our project board and let's remove these three so that we can start fresh. And let's look though at how we can do this from the repository side. So I'm back over here in my YouTube repository and if I go to my issues tab, I can see my three issues. I can select all of those issues and then I can select the projects column and it will let me add to a project. So there's the YouTube project I've been working with or I could look for organization repository or organization projects. But I'm going to select my YouTube project. Give it a moment. You can see that all three issues have been successfully added and if I go back and do a refresh on this page you'll see that there are the three issues. So from the repository list of issues you can select multiple issues and add them to your project. Alright, let's clear this out again. Let's go back to the repository. If I select my first issue, you can see that right now it is not a member on the right hand side of any project. Well from the issue details tab I can select projects and I can add it to a project directly from the issues detail tab. So now it is part of the YouTube project and if I go back to the project we will see there is my first issue. And the final way is using the command palette. So while you're on your project, you can hit Control K on Windows and you get the list of commands that you can use to, mod to, to work with your project. You can see all the different commands. I can add items, filter, group, create issues, etc. I'm going to click Add Items and it takes me to that familiar page that we saw before where we can select our YouTube repository and in this case we only see the two issues because my first issue is already on the board. So we can select say my third issue and add that item. So there you go. Multiple ways, in fact six different ways, that you can add existing issues to your project board. I hope you've enjoyed this video on an introduction to the multiple ways to add existing issues to a GitHub project. If so, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash that bell to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.